The sweater says, embrace the tank. I am one who um, wants to see the Canadians lose more games this season and maybe even next season and last season so that they could win more games going forward in the future and they can sustain it, okay? Yeah. I am embracing the tank. When the Canadians started to win hockey games at one point this season, a lot of people said, yeah, 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 this is what we want. We want to win hockey games. We want to make the playoffs. Where do you stand on this? Uh, in an ideal world, this would be where I would want the Habs to be. I, honestly, uh, I do believe that um, the more you give yourself chances the more you can take those chances because you know a lot of people are going to say yeah look at the Oilers look at the Sabres yeah but also look at the Avalanche like yeah they got McKinnon and uh, Rantanen and they got uh, not Rantanen sorry Landeskog number two uh, yeah. and uh, McKinnon number one but they ended up Mc getting the if other can, real stuff if I, if I can McKinnon one Landeskog two two McCarr four four yeah Um, Rentanen was nine or ten. Uh, hold on a sec. Byram four. Oh yeah, they got Byram too. Rantanen ten. Yeah. Nachuskin ten. Uh, Kadri by trade, who was Toronto seventh. Yeah. Johnson by trade, who was once upon a time, I believe, St. Louis's first. The many many players in the top ten. Exactly. And that's exactly my point. It's like, Kel McCarr, you go back, he's a number one overall pick, right? So if you're only drafting high that year and you're going number two, like the Flyers did, and you get Nolan Patrick, well, of course, you're going to have this chance of missing your shot. But if you're going there for a few years and get a few shots, you're going to get maybe your McKinnon at number one, but you're maybe also getting your McCarr number four, and you may be getting your Rentanen at number 10. So uh, yeah. I, too, agree. Uh, I want a top 10. I want another top 10 pick, that's for sure. Uh, I would really appreciate them to give a shot at uh, one or two this year because it's one of those years like uh, Jack Eichel, Connor McDavid, and Ovechkin, and uh, Gino uh, from all the come that we're getting. Yeah. So I, I, I would like it, but I personally... I am convinced that, you know, October hockey and the strength of schedule to start the season. I don't know if you saw this uh, this week. Uh, the Habs, I think, are, if my memory is correct, fifth yeah. uh, for the rest of the season in the hardest strength of schedule. So I think it's going to come back more to normal. Also, I'm we were really, talking... I'm, uh, I'm really glad, pardon me, that you brought that up because I've mentioned on a couple of occasions that I believe that when the schedule is going to get tougher, Max is going to be starting... On of the course. 17th of December, when the Canadians and going all the way up to, I believe, the 5th of January. Let me re let me mention those games if I can. They host Tampa. Two nights later, they're in Arizona. Two nights after that, they're in Colorado. Two nights after that, they're in Dallas. They're off for four days during the holidays. They come back on the Wednesday, they're in Tampa. The following night, they're in Florida. And two nights later, they're in Washington in the afternoon. Three games yeah. in three and a half days. Tampa, Florida, Washington. They go to Nashville a couple of days later to play another game on the road. And then they come back and they play the New York Rangers at home. Uh, this is a difficult schedule, especially from the 17th of December to the 5th of January. It's very tough, Max. Precisely. And, you know, you're looking at it right now. Sam Montembeau is still ninth in the league, according to Evolving Hockey, for GSAX. Goal, save, goal saved above expected. Ninth in the league. I love Sam. I want to see him play more. But if he ends the year in the top 10 in goal save above expected, well, we're going to have to rethink uh, his future because it's unsustainable. There was a point at the start of the season where both him and Allen were in the top 15. Uh, Jake Allen actually is out of the full first page and like at bottom of the second page now. So I think this is going to get back to normal. And I think that, uh, you know, the, the Atlantic division is not going to stay also as competitive at this, as it is being right now. So... To me, it's, it's a good thing right now because they're winning games, they're having fun, they're learning. And I think it's a, when, uh, when push comes to shove, January, February, I think it's going to get back to normal and they will be back in a position to draft top 10. To me, this, I'm not concerned yet with that. I'm Marinero, and that clip you just watched is from our most recent episode of the Sick Podcast. Once again, follow us on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. 
Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's absolutely free, and you'll be notified when we go live. I'm Marinero. Tell your friends about it. This podcast, like me, is pretty sick.